Hi, this is Brant Zip at Crocker Farm Auction, and I wanted to take this opportunity to show you what is by far one of the best examples of Calvin Wilcox stoneware in existence, also the best piece of Pennsylvania stoneware to be sold at auction in years. Uh, this is jug was made by Calvin Wilcox in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and they're a very beloved pottery. They were making um, New York State style stoneware in the state capital of Harrisburg. Uh, other potteries in the area would start to make things in the style of the Harrisburg potters, but it was the Harrisburg potters who first started, who first brought this style of um, more finely made stoneware with this light creamish clay body um, and bright cobalt blue from upstate New York into the state capital of Pennsylvania. Calvin Wilcox was actually formed as a partnership in 1863, which was during the Civil War. Well, this piece bears uh, the decoration of the bust of a Civil War era soldier. The soldier wears, notably, a hat that was a common hat worn by militia during the time period. It's called a Shaco hat. And if you do like a quick Google image search for Shaco hat, you will see this, the remarkable uh, similarity between what the decorator rendered here and the Shaco hat of the time period. Uh, Harrisburg was an important city during the Civil War, obviously, and it was a city that the Confederacy would have liked to have taken. So there was this fear that the Confederates would take the city, and indeed they tried to do that, particularly in June of 1863. There was a push by the Confederacy to get into Harrisburg, and a lot of militia came into the city to protect it during that time period, and, and that may have been an inspiration for this jug. Something else that's interesting is that uh, John Calden, the Calden and Calden and Wilcox, his son Frederick H. Calden, who ended up taking over the pottery and marked his work at F.H. Calden, uh, he actually served in the Pennsylvania Infantry. I have not found any images of, of him, so this very well could be him. But it's really exciting to handle a jug like this that has so much history behind it, but also one that is one of the finest examples by one of the most beloved stoneware potteries in America.